Welcome to Digit Math. In today's lesson, we'll explore multiplying a two-digit number by a one-digit number. There are 10 exciting questions waiting for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you enjoy learning with us. Let's jump right in. 25 times 4 is... Time to think. 10. Place 10 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 25 times 4 equals 100. 34 times 6 is time to think. 18. Place 20 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 34 times 6 equals 204. 43 times 4 is time to think. 43 43 times 4 equals 172. 48 times 8 is... Time to think. 48 48 times 8 equals 384. 37 times 3 is time to think. 37 by 3. In the units column, multiply 7 by 3, which equals 21. Place 1 in the units column and carry over 2 to the tens column. In the tens column, multiply 3 by 3, which equals 9. Add the carried over 2 to 9, making 11. Place 11 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 
37 times 3 equals 111. 63 times 3 is, time to think, 11. Let's go to the answer. To solve, multiply 63 by 3. In the units column, multiply 3 by 3, which equals 9. Place 9 in the units column. In the tens column, multiply 3 by 6, which equals 18. Place 18 in the tens and hundreds column, since 180 is 180. So the final result is 63 times 3 equals to 189. 34 times 7 is, time to think. 34. Let's go to the answer. Solve, multiply 34 by 7. In the units column, multiply 7 by 4, which equals 28. Place 8 in the units column and carry over 2 to the tens column. In the tens column, multiply 7 by 3, which equals 21. Add the carried over 2 to 21, making 23. Place 23 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 34 times 7 equals 238. 45 times 3 is time to think. 45. Let's go to the answer. To solve, multiply 45 by 3. In the units column, multiply 5 by 3, which equals 15. Place 5 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, multiply 4 by 3, which equals 12. Add the carried over 1 to 12, making 13. Place 13 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 45 times 3 equals 135. 33 times 6 is? Time to think. 33. Let's go to the answer. To solve, multiply 33 by 6. In the units column, multiply 6 by 3, which equals 18. Place 8 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, multiply 6 by 3 again, which equals 18. Add the carried over 1 to 18, making 19. Place 19 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 33 times 6 equals 198. 24 times 5 is time to think. 24. Let's go to the answer. To solve, multiply 24 by 5. In the units column, multiply 5 by 4, which equals 20. Place 0 in the units column and carry over 2 to the tens column. In the tens column, multiply 5 by 2, which equals 10. Add the carried over 2 to 10, making 12. Place 12 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 24 times 5 equals 120. Well done everyone, you've just completed 10 multiplication problems 
with two-digit and one-digit numbers. Keep practicing to become a multiplication master. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun math lessons. See you in the next video.